ruining it. Hi, welcome to Cutscene. If you're doing this right, you're about to meet three assholes who have 100% fully embraced the art of the montage. I'm Eric. I'm Jason. And I'm Chris. And welcome to Cutscene by I Beat It First. I 100% Yay. thought about just mm. saying, I'm Bear Bear. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> bear Bear. Bear Bear. Bear Bear. bear, bear. bear, bear. <laughs> I'm going to name you so. Okay, so <laughs> oh god, we had three episodes, and they, okay, and they they did a little bit on this, but we basically had three episodes devoted to giving everybody else pets just so that they could overpower or power up Sally and Maple's pets. Yes, hundred percent. Three episodes yeah, just for that. <laughs> Now, once you we got just into, give them everything. Once we got into episode regular. eight, though, we did see that they it, and what I was hoping as we were watching it, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, man, they better like actually like utilize these skills. Which, granted, they're only going to use them for like two episodes, but still, they're all, they've all got like additional skills now, like all the big characters. Yep. And so they've got all these new skills that work with their pets or their Pokemon. Right. It basically just became Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> It became Pokemon, um, and yeah. so now all the characters have pets. Or at least all the good characters have pets. Yeah. The characters we care about. That we yeah, that yes. we care to remember their names. Yeah, you mean I, like you, so. Me. <laughs> so. <laughs> do. We're Do, Re, Me. Yeah, uh, but, but I think do, there is a fa. So. There is a fa, because I sure. think I remember making a joke about a fa last time as well. Oh. <sighs> It's the naming is I I don't know if they're actually like normal Japanese names. So part of me feels real bad for saying like why don't you use some real fucking thought in these instead of giving us a, a shitty who's on first thing. But I'm pretty <laughs> certain that this is just a shitty who's on first thing. <laughs> We can't, we can't complain. We can't be like, let's watch a brain off anime and then be upset for bringing, being brain off as fuck. Yes. Like, it's just oh, like, <laughs> okay, like, go ahead. I get it. No, no, no. We asked for this. The only problem is that it makes them sound like they're speaking in really bad grammar as well. Yeah. So happy to help me. Thanks, me. Oh, Thanks, God, me. Stop. I thought I saw I around here. Where's I? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh my goodness. The map said me was here. <laughs> that's right. We're recycling the same jokes from the last podcast because yep. that's where we're <laughs> at. There's not much here. That's where know, we're at, not... people. This, this was four <laughs> hours of kind of boring. Like, okay. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Four hours? Jokes. Or four episodes, sorry. Okay, of, I'm like, uh, wow. Batman and, like, the montages. Like, it, this uh, this anime's always loved their montages. Let's not, let's not mm -hmm. like, mince any words here. They've been always very much like, well, we don't know what to do with story because obviously they're just going to beat the shit out of this thing. So, montage. Montage. And so, montage. that's fine. Yeah. But during the key quest where they finally found the ability to uh, evolve their monsters, they had mm -hmm. three separate montages. It's just like, why? Like, like, it's just like, give us anything of just like anything more because they, they started doing something kind of interesting. They went down there, found a map during one of the montages, by the way. And it was just like, okay, let's explore a little bit more. I would have loved it if that map was also just like, hey, you probably weren't supposed to find that because that's going to help you out in the event in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. More than just just this one little bit here. I don't know. Just just something to have some kind of dialogue go along with what's going on rather than just like, look what I got. And everyone, instead of being like, you son of a lucky bitch whore. Being like, wow, that's so great. Like, it's just like, well, <laughs> then they found out that it wasn't just that they were lucky. They only triggered it because they had leveled up their their pets so yeah. much because they'd been traveling around with them. Because everybody else tried to go and trigger the same quest and they couldn't trigger the quest because they had only yeah. just gotten their pets. So, I mean, that part I've made been all sense. over there. Not, not to mention, we did an entire episode just for three characters to get pets. No, I did the, all all of them got pets. No, yeah. they all got they all got them by the end of the first two episodes. The end of the first oh, yeah, episode, yeah, 
We had one episode entirely devoted to get to three of them getting pets, and then another episode devoted to the other three getting pets. And then the the mage from the other guild comes to show off her pet, challenges Sally to a duel. They teleport. Sally instantly attacks her and beats the <laughs> shit out of her. <laughs> then they teleport back. <laughs> There's two times I did laugh like out yeah. loud in this in this grouping, and that was the first time when they cut back to Maple still going yeah, and then it's like yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like waving <laughs> she's like, goodbye. She's like bye. Oh, they're already done. <laughs> what? <laughs> you acted like you're trying to kill me. Well, it was a duel. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. It's kind of, How it's kind of what you point. do during them? Maybe that's why you're losing so much. And it's also not like actually <laughs> killing. This isn't SAO. Like they just, yeah. you know, they just respawn. <laughs> yeah. So obviously was, she was trying I to lost. kill you. Okay. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. Which I did think that it was a little dick that those two guys from the other guild ganged up on the one caster from Maple oh. Tree. Yeah. Yeah. That was I mean, dick. it's like their the, the reasoning was right. Hey, no, no harm. No, like, boy, I turned down a fighting a rival. Like, cool. Totally mm-hmm. get that. It was just like two on one. At least do one on one. But whatever. yeah, you're like supposed to be yeah. kind of friends, friendly towards each other. Well, but... I think only really Mabel's friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I think that's the real, and yeah. Sally and Sally. And, and even yeah. then, like Mabel's still not even friends really with those two guys. She's friends with yeah. their guild leader. Because the guild leaders are all friends, but yep. and I, they also probably wouldn't go against Maple because they're scared of Maple. Would <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Maple will destroy all guild by herself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if if one scene explains why they shouldn't go up against Maple, there's two of them in the last episode. The first one. Is when her two, the two sisters roll up on their bears thinking that they're going to help her. And she's just fucking like pounding the ground and smashing those monsters into bits and having a grand time. laughing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Die, fuckers. And it's pure, like, unadulterated, like, psycho killer. Like, like, I'm just being like. Oh yeah, blood and guts and viscera going everywhere. It's the best game ever. <laughs> but you're not <laughs> far off with the eating. She eats everything. No, she eats everything. <laughs> Even when she went after the tentacle monster, it was like, this is the best thing I've ever ever eaten. I was just like, thank you for euphemisms. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the best thing Your because it was monster, cooked octopus. I want to eat you more. It was exactly. cooked octopus. Like yeah. at first, I at first I thought it was like it was like a a mud octopus. And I was like, when she bit into it, I'm like, that's not gonna taste good. But then it just it turned out to be just regular old octopus. So she ate it. It'll yeah. be whatever they want. Yeah. yeah but whatever. the other one was when the two guild masters were fighting each other, <laughs> and they and they're like they're in. getting ready to go in a round oh, two. Yeah, Jesus. Mabel comes in in the mouth of a giant crocodile in her woolly form with just her head and her laser cannon sticking out of the front. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, 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 shoot. I could live here forever. <laughs> I'm having the best time. Man, uh, just great. I, I guess we're just gonna, we should just end here. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Maple. Well, she killed the tension. I mean, I can't blame her. Yeah. There was like, there was really good palpable tension between the two of them. They were, ha- they were having like a really like, like, visceral fight between the two of them and all of a sudden Maple just shows up. <laughs> and then the fact that she's just controlling it. Yeah. Like a puppet. Yeah, by looking around and yelling yeah, and stuff <laughs> like that. It's like, what are you doing? When they go to the desk, like, who put like a area boss in this area? In this game? We thought it would be fine as long as we didn't give her a stomach, which was so, great because at the be- like 30 seconds before that, she's like, well, I tried to climb into its stomach, but I couldn't get in there. Wait, you tried to go into its stomach? Why? And then they reminded you that she blew up a fucking monster <laughs> from the inside <laughs> in a previous episode. But now she yeah, just, just stopped doing the insides. Should get the teeth piercing damage. They should have. 
Yeah. But, but Although, it, yeah, when she was just like, good thing that I didn't have terrain damage when that giant rock hit her. And I was just like, I'm pretty sure you just got hit solely by terrain. That should have been terrain damage. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all that she can get damaged by now. It's terrain right. damage. So, or, uh, or like damage that no matter what causes a specific yeah. amount. Like if, if you get hit with poison that automatically poisons for 100 HP or something like that. But yeah. <laughs> This this show is it's a whole lot of nothing and it's a whole lot <laughs> yeah, all right. at the same time because really there's nothing to talk about. I mean it it's it because it, yeah I agree like what the the parts that like are fun are obviously the battles or the over the top ridiculousness but mm-hmm. the I don't blame them you have to be sparingly with that. Because if they're just yeah. like, we're going to be all over the top all the time, then it's just going to be like, okay, I'm just getting really boring, especially without any substance. And they obviously don't really want to do a whole lot of substance to this because there's so many different paths they could go down and being like, here's mm-hmm. like evilness of the devs or what the biggest like plot hole problem going on is instead mm-hmm. of just be like, ha ha, strong woman go burr, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> Those are all doing that. This is... So it's just like, strong doesn't mean like, turn to A10 go burr. <laughs> right, because I mean, there's no problem with going like full action all the time. Like, look at uh, uh um, oh god, uh, Gruen Logan, or look at uh, mm-hmm. um, the other one that they did where the skimpy girl wears clothing, goes burr, and stuff like that. Like, kill a uh, kill? what is it called? Kill a kill. Thank you very yeah. much. Like, there's like those are just <laughs> constantly action, and there's fun to it. But they had then the little bit of substance there. This one's just like, hey, we're gonna make some weird designs and weird monsters, and just kind of like do like, what would you really want to do in an MMO if you were like OP as fuck? And here's what they're doing so it's fine i mean fine which i look Mm -hmm. at it as a tale of two servers because this server that they're on is that server where everybody knew like they went on and it's it's uh it's like you're playing final fantasy and you go on to like the kefka server or something like that i don't know if that's a real thing but like you you see it and you're like clown all right this is the fuck around server like this is this is what we're doing. We're just gonna go on. We're n- no one's RPing. We're all gonna be. We're all gonna be just like having a good old time, spending our days as if we're si- as if we're sitting at each other's houses, you know, stuff like that. And then go mm-hmm. out and hunt monsters. Whereas then I'm sure that there's another server out there that is like what the Red Guild was trying to do, where they were all RPing. Yeah. And now they're they're mm-hmm. kind of like, well, RPing's stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's which would tell a completely then different Maple anime. Came in, but it would tell a completely Maple different came anime. In just ruined that whole thing. Like, yeah. I would actually really like to see an offshoot of this where it was the exact same like story and everything like that of like what's of what the game is, but everyone's taking it entirely too seriously. Like, oh, meanwhile, on the other yeah. server. <laughs> And every yeah, everyone's talking in old English, and there's many people doffing their hats, milady, like all sorts of stupid ass shit. Because it would be the cringiest shit possible, and it would be worth watching. Like even if they just I mean, did could, one episode, well, <laughs> couldn't you say it's jobless reincarnation or whatever? <laughs> it, it, yeah, 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 that could be. It could be jobless. I mean, they could still like have maple in that. And Maple's just the big bad that everyone's trying to take down. See that that's that's see, oh. they could do so much with this anime yeah. if they wanted to. They're, they're setting up so much because I mean you could have like Maple versus the gods, which is obviously the devs. The devs versus Maple, everyone versus Maple. Like maybe Maple <laughs> destroys the world. Maybe Maple causes some kind of problem. Who knows? Like there's so many things you could do. They're just they just don't want to. And I get that. Like I said, we can't complain about. It being it being brain turn off. If we're like, hey, let's watch a brain turn off movie or anime, and that's what we're doing yeah. here. Well, and I, it would be great though if like we're going through all of this and like let's say this is like a four season anime, and they do four seasons of this, and then the last half of season four shit hits the fan, and suddenly it takes like this super dark tone, and <laughs> and Maple has to destroy God. <laughs> Sounds great. Like, I would love literally, it. Literally, it's, it's IRL. She walks into a building, cocks a gun. Credits. 
<laughs> no, that'd be too unrealistic. You can't get a gun in Japan. Hey, that's true. That's true. <laughs> She'd go in with Fully. a knife. Yes, a horrible, horrible knife. Yes, a horrible, horrible knife. Oh my gosh! And then, and then, uh, Higurashi cry starts up right after that. There you go. Oh um, shit! <laughs> and then it, so she kills everybody. Repeat. She kills everybody, and then it just starts back over. Like I don't want to get hurt, so I'm gonna add all my points in the defense. I'm gonna take Not a nap right. right here. Yeah. Not only are you in uh, or, a Groundhog Day, you're in an MMO Groundhog Day. Like no. <laughs> oh, that just sounds horrible. Or, She's yeah. in her kaiju form, gets isekai and she's Godzilla. Re- reverse, reverse isekai Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> she's... Summon, summon to fight Godzilla for real? <laughs> yeah, they they put in they put in like those uh those hard light projectors and they just summon her in her god like her, in her giant reptile form and just fighting <laughs> off a kaiju. Come on. She somehow <laughs> devours him yeah. in the game. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> And then breaks the game. Yeah. <laughs> gets gets radioactive blast and whatever. I don't know. What what are Godzilla's moves? What what are Godzilla's powers? I know he has radioactive radioactive blast. Best monster scream. Yeah. This is true. Uh all eight powers Godzilla has. Oh, here we go. So there's a atom- or atomic breath, not radioactive blast. Mm-hmm. Spiral heat ray, which just looks like red electricity <laughs> shooting out of it <laughs> flight okay but the flight one's bullshit the flight one is basically he turns around and propels himself like a fucking seahorse through the sky with air <laughs> no like and it shows if you look at it he's curled like the tail is curled up it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> metal manipulation wait what the in 1974's godzilla versus mecha godzilla the king of the monsters was up against a robotic counterpart who proved to be quite a challenge godzilla and king caesar were struggling to beat him until a thunderstorm erupted after being repeatedly bombarded with lightning godzilla somehow turned into a magnetic force godzilla was able to magnetically pull numerous metal objects to his body he was even able to reel in mecha godzilla who was incapable of escaping godzilla's magnetic pull thanks to the Fucking strange amazing. unexplained power mecha godzilla was swiftly defeated this was the only time godzilla was made use of this power <laughs> so, so godzilla is maple like that's what we just said yeah 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 pretty much yeah like because of happenstance of luck, you get something that's OP now. Enjoy. <laughs> Destroy everything. Destroy everything. But be still be good. Everyone still loves you, even though you just yeah. did untold amount of damage. Good job. <laughs> Regeneration, nuclear pulse, which like he like heats up his the spikes, I guess, and causes a nuclear blast. Atomic rays. Which I've seen, I know this one. He he shoots out like purple laser beams out of his back, <laughs> and then there's then they're talking about how he can control it or he can transform his body. <laughs> He's Maple. Yeah. Wait. Godzilla is Maple. Maple is Godzilla. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, no, but like Maple really is Godzilla. Finkel is Einhorn. Yes. Einhorn is Finkel. Einhorn is Finkel. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla's a man. (laughs) (laughs) Maple's a man. (laughs) It is an RPG. (laughs) Oh, it is an RPG. (laughs) But it's like this is this is what I envision uh, half the people playing Baldur's Gate three are doing. Is just <laughs> fucking dicking around, <laughs> and as we were talking about before the podcast, like there's some of the Steam reviews are just the best when it comes to that. <laughs> like I threw a goblin child across the room. <laughs> it lets me live out my fantasy of being a naked gnome with the powers of Zeus. <laughs> That's exactly I'm what kidding. is going on, and yep. it's great. Like I have no problem with it. I just wish that we had more to talk about. There's a difference. I have something that I, I, I do have something that I'd like to discuss about uh, um, Bo Furry. Okay. That's, that's, it's, it's very uh, serious, obviously. And that is mm-hmm. 
Totes series. Of the pink bunny thing with man legs. Did you guys see that? The pink bunny <laughs> thing like, with man legs? What? With man legs. Like, there's a pink bunny thing. It's like a giant pink, like, peep. Like, if you think, like, a bunny peep. Oh, okay. Uh, like, pink peep. But it had just man legs. It was running around. <laughs> I totally like, missed that. Oh, my God. I was just <laughs> like, that. what on earth is that? And then they, like, showed it, like, a bunch of times in the background. Just, like, hairy-ass, giant, thick thighs coming out of, like, the left <laughs> corner of the screen. I was like, <laughs> What are they doing here with this thing? The devs have lost yeah. their goddamn minds as well. Oh, they've they, lost their yeah. mind. They, like, they're just nuts. When, when they went to like the evolve zone, they're just like, all right, we got to design and like uh, do some art of like 20 different creatures that we've never heard of before. <laughs> all right. Um, what if one of them was fighting the other one and the other one ate them, but we don't want to show it's too dark? What if they just like, then spit it back out? <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Um, I can't think of anything Stop else. Stop you. I'm gonna, I'll put you in my mouth and spit you back out. That's I right. got, I got <laughs> this dartboard over here. Can we use that too? Oh, the anime dartboard. <laughs> yeah. The good old anime dartboard. Where would we be without that thing? I, you know what? We'd only have like half the Funny, of anime. Pink. Harry Manlakes. <laughs> and Harry Manlakes <laughs> is actually a thing in there because that that's just how they do character creation too. They're like, all right, well we got this we got this thunk female thunk barmaid thunk Harry Manlegs. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been on there forever because also you have like from like uh, Metal Gear, you know, what was it like uh, mm-hmm. uh, um Lightning Rice oh. or her- 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 whatever? You know, the mm-hmm. mechs had man legs. Yeah, it was amazing. The the cows, because they yeah, mooed the too. Mood, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they mooed and they had like not even man legs. They had sexy lady legs. It was no, weird. No, they were they were chonky legs. I don't no, know call them sexy. N- no, they were. Hang on, unless I'm remembering the legs. wrong thing. Revengeance is what it was, right? Yeah. Was it in Revengeance? That's what I remember them from when they were just like moving around. I think they're in four too, but the first time would have been in Revengeance. Yeah, there's some chonky legs, man. Oh, but four they four they started getting like sleeker legs. I think I think in four they started getting sleeker legs, and I remember a lot of people talking about it of like why do they do they because, have these? <laughs> because the you know they would. If we had the ability to be like, we can make a, a giant ass mech, whatever we wanted to do, and you had all the people of the world being like, can't make it a giant sex bot, then the numbers two choice would be like, all right, we're going to make it a giant kill bot with sexy ass legs. <laughs> there you go. You'll, you'll see that's the uh, the evolved versions of them. <laughs> they that's they right, definitely yeah, got yeah. sleeker, but they have those weird ass like toes. Yeah, <laughs> it's so they were so weird, and so they pranced weird. around as if they were like ballerinas. Oh, they they moved around like, mm-hmm. like it was it was so weird. It was the weirdest fucking thing. But yeah, I mean that's that's kind of like where they they got it from. They're just like, oh, yeah, you know, we we just got to do all these things. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay, people. Don't think too much. And then here we are. That's what we're doing. Sitting here with the podcast, thinking way too much about a per or a pink peep bunny with hairy man legs. <laughs> Wait, you want to play Metal Gear again? No, that'd be fun. Okay, so I searched Metal Gear cows because that's that's it. It's fighting robot cows, and everything like that. And I'm going through, and it's like, boom, 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 boom. And it's all Metal Gear Cows. Then there's, then there it shows a milking machine. That's fine. Okay. Then it shows an alien stealing a cow, which is actually a still from Invader Zim. Uh, then it shows another one of the Metal Gear Cows. Then it shows two cows fucking. Oh, <laughs> then a couple more pictures of cows. Then, <laughs> then Raiden. <laughs> Then a South Park go cows. Like, it's just... The, it's so weird. Google's algorithm is fucking messed up. Okay. Um, I found I found the image that I, that I was thinking about. For sure. 
Oh yeah. I don't know how easy we. Hey, let's see if I can get a to show up in Slack better. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but why does the foot Perfect. look more like a hand in a red glove? And it's like <laughs> the heel is the thumb, <laughs> and it's just Jeez, like so this. <laughs> So ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Oh, oh my geez. god, that's so ridiculous. I but I love Someone it. Drew that. Someone drew that. <laughs> <laughs> and if you if you cover up half of it, look at the top half only of the mech. It's actually like quality work. Yeah. <laughs> it, but if you cover up if you cover up the mech, it's still quality work. Yeah. Except yeah. for the fact that the shoe looks like it's a hand. But that's beside the point. <laughs> It's still better looking than the fucking three-toed. I guess that's like a dinosaur's foot. I don't know. It, they are creepy. Yeah, they're creepy so now. Weird. Looking at them. They're they're meant to be creepy though. So you know, right? That's how mm-hmm. it is. All right. So everyone's got their animals. There's some cool moves that they can do. Um, syrup is oh, is now like even more powerful. And basically, basically was taking out a whole nestload of monsters all on his own, which is that's... syrup became a Bulbasaur. <laughs> no. It did actually, <laughs> and we got hinted that syrup was going to get bunny ears early on, but nobody thought that they would be dumb enough to do that. So they throw <laughs> they throw bunny ears on the two sisters. They did it, and and <laughs> Maple. <laughs> And they're, they they're like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, hey, yeah, the, you're just get These are the only bunny ears you're gonna see. Only bunny ears you're gonna see. Oh, by the way, here's permanent bunny ears on a fucking turtle. <laughs> turtle. <laughs> that, that turtle. doesn't. That's just like, what sound does a turtle make? Uh, turtle. turtle? <laughs> Done. Well, because it's a Pokemon. <laughs> we already talked about it. It's it's Pokemon. Turtle. turtle. They can only say their names. It should should be syrup, syrup. It should be syrup, syrup. No, no, but just because you named him syrup, (laughs) he's a turtle. Turt. Turtle. Turtle. But but all the other animals can only do that. I like turtles. But Obero doesn't go around going, "Mm, fox. Yeah, he does. He's like, meh. Frax. No, he doesn't. Frax. No, Frax. he does not. He does not. <laughs> and the snake, snake one's not going around being all like, yeah, I'm snake. Ooh, snake. Oh, it's a snake. I'm and then they get a badger a one, and it's just walking around going, badger, 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 <laughs> badger, badger. badger. <laughs> that's, some, that's some old... Eldritch uh, internet right there. That's all that we've been doing is old internet. We started off early on about like with the end of the world before the podcast. Yeah, but, yeah, we yeah. Were, that was before the podcast. Like, that, that's we did that, the, was, that was only for us. We did that. start referencing the GI Joes a little bit. That was last podcast. Yeah, Joe. We just gotta. I'm just saying. We just gotta like reaffirm that we are I'm fucking gosh. old. Every single podcast. Oh, so yes. old. So old. so old, so old that I have to continually trim my goatee enough so that you don't see the giant patch of gray that is, in it. <laughs> and it's like it used to be just like a couple of pieces, but there's like this big fucking patch of it, <laughs> <laughs> and it is solid. And there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it because I'm not gonna go buy just for men, just, just for, for men. men, just for men. By the way, <laughs> like after, like as I grew up. Like, I kept seeing those commercials, and I was like, oh, like, that's interesting. Like, you know, it's just like when you color your hair. Like, you got to put it in. Your facial hair grows so goddamn fast, so much faster mm-hmm. than your regular hair, that you're basically doing that, like, every goddamn day. You're going through and having to touch it up. And then if you actually do anything to wash your face, like, you actually wash your face with anything other than just Gone. water, yeah, this is going to just rip it right out so you have to just continually go in with this little brush and this gel and you're like do 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 don't want to look old don't want to (laughs) and the best is when you see like you see like sports stars that you know just use that shit because you're like you're like motherfucker i've seen you out like on the football field or on the court and you are 
hey, you were dying the shit out of all of that. <laughs> your head, <laughs> your face, <laughs> every bit of it. <laughs> Just so that you can not feel old. Like LeBron James. Although, LeBron James has the other things. Like, he he has, like, that fake powdery shit that he puts on his head, too. So that it, it looks like actual hair. Because he's all bald now, too? Oh, dude, yeah. Like, he... And, there's there's like articles that you can find where people people talk about LeBron's hairline over the years and it's it's constantly like it's like the tide it recedes mm-hmm. and then suddenly comes back <laughs> and then it recedes again and it suddenly comes back and it's not like Bosley shit there's no way that he's going in like every off season and having hair plugs put in no he's just using like some kind of like spray thing or like the the powdery stuff and putting it on there. So so that so that's the question. Like you know this motherfucker's making like shit ton of money. Like why doesn't mm-hmm. he do something more? Like hey, I know, wouldn't do that. Monkey, I would some wait. Ass hair on me. I would wait until like my career was over. Then I would do it because he's constantly. He's constantly working out, headbands, all sorts of shit that's just going to pull on that. And he's never going to give himself, like, time for it. to. So, like, I wouldn't do it while I was – Well, that's the same thing with uh, – uh, shit, uh, what was his name? Erlocker. Brian Erlocker did that mm. when he played for the Bears. He was bald as a fucking Q-tip. Q-tip? Q-ball? He was just bald. Yeah. He was shiny his entire mm. football career because he, he had, like – that U shape, <laughs> bald. <laughs> like he would grow it on the sides, but not on the top. And, he's, and he did the smart thing that everybody that does that stupid U haircut needs to learn is just shave it all off. The U yeah. looks stupid. Having that big patch in the center of it looks dumb as shit. But so Erlocker would do that, and then he retired, and instantly. Went on television with a fucking full head of hair. And it's like, hell yeah, I got hair plugs. This is fucking amazing. I haven't had hair in 20 years. <laughs> he was like the poster child sense. for this, like, yeah. for one of the hair, like, institutes that was doing it. And he's like, he's telling everyone, he's like, oh yeah, no, there's no, there's no way of getting around this. This is fake hair. <laughs> or he would be like, this is, this is mostly my real hair. They've just been doing stuff to make it grow back and moving stuff you know pulling it from his ass and putting it on his head Mm -hmm. which is what they also do (laughs) these these are my real pubes (laughs) on my head (laughs) no you wouldn't mind do that he's old enough that you know that they're gray (laughs) you don't want to get you don't want to get his pubes (laughs) wow this this podcast has derailed (laughs) it really has i mean i mean no more than the I mean, anime. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I really, I really do. Okay, I'm re- bringing us all back. Uh, I, I really do wish again that they, they they would take us somewhere, like somewhere more interesting. Because here we, the the next four is the end of it, right? Like, I mean, like, mm-hmm. do we know is there a season three? Like, have they cleared that at all? I don't know, Anything like that. Because like, that's a good if question. there's not, like, if they're not even talking about it. It's just like, no, this is summing it all up. It's just like. What the fuck were like they even thinking about when this is greenlit from the manga? It was just like, yeah, they just fuck around for like you know, eighty volumes and then that's it. Let's make man make that. <laughs> there. No, that's not a movie. Never mind. It's like, is that a movie that I see? Like maybe they. they I don't know. I don't see anything about a season three yet. I don't yeah. even know if I'd want to do a movie of Bovary. Like, especially yeah. like, oh no, like it's not like there's no there's no story. There's no story. Like, what would you do? It's like, hey, let's go do an adventure. All right, sounds good. Forty five minute montage. Great. We have more skills. Ten minutes to discussing all the skills and what they do and being like, what does that mean? No idea. Then another ten minutes of Maple just being like, look at what I've become. It's just some gross <laughs> amalgamation of everything they've ever seen in every anime ever just like it like she becomes like every angel from evangelion and shit like that it's just like all right cool <laughs> we're let's do it let's and then everybody el- everybody gets in. these skills and they don't use them because maple just fucking destroys everything yep right yeah well guess we're not needed got this badass sword guess what i sneezed and everyone's dead 
<laughs> but 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 my sword. My sword. Basically, I mean, seriously, this is a game. This is a game. You're you're getting all this cool ass shit, and you're pounding around with a buddy that's just like power level beyond the shit. Like when you have a, when you play Diablo or something like that, and you have someone that's yeah, like just... already level ninety, and you're just running around picking up all the loot. That's boring as fuck. That's all you can do. Like mm-hmm. seriously. Okay, well, hang on. These are like middle middle school, high school students. You know what my f- son finds really fucking fun? When I bring my OP ass fucking Genshin characters into <laughs> his world and beat the shit out of things for him, and he just runs around. And he's like, "Yeah, let's go over here now." <laughs> yeah, the first the first time you threw a game, you do that great. But if that's all you can do forever, like that's the only way you can play this game is yeah. pound around with someone that's just gonna be OP and take care of everything for you. Well, the, I mean, they game. are doing their own stuff. Like the True. the swordsman girl mm-hmm. is like she's strong as shit. She can handle her own. She goes off and she solos all sorts of things, even though she ke- she continually soloed that one and died multiple times, and continually turned into like the kid version of herself. But still, she goes off. She's mm-hmm. like, "Yep, nope, I'm going off, and I'm just gonna solo everything." Let me solo her. Well, I mean, she finally also learned that that was like an unbeatable boss. She just had to run fast it. Yeah. Which, although if Maple found that boss, she'd find a way to beat it. Should've oh, she would have beat it. She would have eaten the fucking eat thing it. out of it. Yeah. Yeah, she would have eaten it. But they do have a like system that tells you when Maple's going to get a stupid ass power. When Maple starts to go on an, on a quest, and someone says, "Hey, should we come with you?" and she's like, "No, it'll be fine." It'll be nice and simple and straightforward. Maple's going to get a power. Because how the fuck do you <laughs> think she got that fucking tentacle power? <laughs> yeah. She went off on like this stupid thing and was like, do, 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 tentacles. <laughs> she's just going to go get materials for. The... Yeah. She just, get just getting way. materials. Uh, yes, she did. she did. She got the materials. She did come back with the materials and also tentacles. And a weird black eye, like with like an opalescent oh, pupil, yeah. super weird. But either way, I'm oh, still enjoying talk. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not hating. I'm not hating the show. I mean, these last four, I was kind of like on my phone a little bit more than yeah. anything else, just being like, I don't need to listen to this because there's nothing it's that the they're montage. Saying. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, all right, well, yeah, the phone a little bit. Like they could have cut down the whole pet thing into one episode if even yeah. that like it, having it be two episodes was annoying like that just that just it was it was boring at that point of the pets so they they should have just done that because it'd be much easier for them to just jump back and forth between different characters than to do these dumbass montages yeah agreed mm-hmm. that's actually a really good point of being like hey these people are doing these things. These people are doing things. We'll jump around. We'll do like, we'll do a red zone play only for these teams here. Oh yeah, uh, dude. Red zone yeah. channel for the, for the, the maple tree guild. Hells yeah. All That'd action be great. all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah. Count me in. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We just hear in the same montage. Oh like, yeah. We put times. the four quadrants in and then it's like, then they just highlight around it yellow when the audio is playing on that one, and then they're like, <laughs> "We just solved this anime." Matter of fact, I would love to see this kind of fucking anime where it's just like, "Yeah, you're 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 multi-screening this thing. You can yep. watch it there one you want, but we'll tell you when there's audio at which one that we think's important." Yeah, and that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Impossible to do, but <laughs> it'd be fun. Uh, impossible? Not impossible, but costly. Because awesome. honestly, every every minute is four times the animation. Yeah, that's that true. Doing. Yeah, because you're doing you're doing. Yeah big action sequences on four different panels and right i mean you could you know fudge it a little bit like some of the filler stuff like when they do like the <laughs> yeah, dragon ball figures at one place <laughs> well like remember <laughs> dragon ball super when they had super saiyan 3 goku and it was like off in the distance and he was the derpiest looking fucking thing <laughs> So they could do shit like oh. that for for like some of them. It was like the background stuff and only like, you know, <laughs> head on. But yes, it, it would require those. Although th- we're already talking 3D graphics anyways. It's not that yeah. bad. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Again, still enjoying it. Minor gripes, but for the most part. Yeah. 
it's still fun. Especially just seeing the stupid shit that she comes up with. I.e. Oh yeah. The alligator in its mouth. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That that is that is the the main thing that I think we're all doing here now. Is just be like, what could possibly be the next thing? Like, what could it possibly be? Like, who had tentacles? You know, let's put it on the bingo card. And let's call it out. You know, and just like that. Well, and she's not. So I will say that in comparison to season one, she's not getting as many big things mm-hmm. as she was. Like in in season one, it was like every other episode was some big fucking thing. Like when she got the giant mech suit. Or when she could turn next into the oh, into the now. giant reptile demon thingy, or summon the demon yep. thingies. Like she was getting like big powers each time. Now it's what weird shenanigans can people get into, which is fine. I like the shenanigans. Mm-hmm. The shenanigans are actually kind of funny. So, all right, Jason. Yeah. Log we had on. enough. We've had enough. Hey, you, yes, you, if you're listening, you're listening to us talk about Bill Furry. uh, And thank you for joining us, even though I don't like we talked about other stuff more than Bill Furry this time than anything else. But hey, you know what? That's half the fun. (laughs) Yeah, it's about 50 /50. Mm -hmm. That's about half. That's half the fun. That's what we do here at I Beat It First. And who are we? We are I Beat It First. You're listening to our cutscene podcast. This is our anime podcast where we do bite sized chunks of uh, uh, anime and then talk about them sort of on this show right here. That's what you're listening to. To right now or watching on twitch.tv slash ip to first um if you want to know more about us or who we are you can go to ip first.com which is our website tell you everything you want to know about us and everything that we do but you can check out our podcast or the podcast we have there or go to ibiff.co which will show you our entire library of podcasts that are available for you because we have a bunch we have this one you're listening to we have the ip to first podcast which is our primary sister podcast i don't know where we talk about video games our main one news. it's the longest main, running one. one yeah the the, <laughs> the, the 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 original the original podcast so the the original podcast of ours where we talk about tech games all that other nerd culture and stuff like that basically everything nerdy besides anime uh then we also have cutscene that you listen to right now and then also patch notes which is where we talk to a uh, small time indie devs about games that they're working on and we talk to them more about them and their design ideas and their process more than just the game. Obviously, we talk about the game too, but everyone asks what game developer is doing. We ask how game developer is doing because we care. So a lot of fun, good stuff right there. While you're at our website as well, be sure to check on our charity link up at the very top. Tell you about all of our different charity options for that we have out there for Extra Life, where we're going to be uh, donating everything that we can possible to the kids at uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital here. And of course, we have a whole team and we have all their own charities as well. If you have discretionary funds, please do check out our charity options for the kids because we pretty much do this for the kids and for fun. Like, that's all that we really want to do here. And so please check them out. Um, Also, of course, if you're there, check out our email and send us an email. You can email us pretty much much anything. Chris, Jason, Eric at ibeatitfirst.com, cutscene at ibeatitfirst.com. Tell us what you think about this anime, about past animes we've done, what future animes we should do. This is actually a a very huge moment in our cutscene podcast because this is actually our first time doing a second season anime in the, what, five years, three years, two years? How long have we been doing this? I don't know. Four and a half years, something like that. It's been a while. 113 episodes. Oh, oh shit, no. First time. Yeah, that's, I think we're almost five years because it was September. Right. Yeah, it's shit. Been, it's been a time, man. It's been a fucking long time. Um, it, I mean, so I mean, this is our first time doing a second season, which is pretty crazy. And right before that, we made a horrible decision, did a full length anime, but that's besides the point. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go listen to those episodes. Go listen to those don't, episodes. Just, anyway, actually, just listen to the episodes. Don't, don't, don't watch. Don't. don't watch the anime. <laughs> you don't need to watch the anime. I mean, you can if you want to. That's what's so fun. Range parents. If you so, unless you want to watch uh, murder, uh, lots and lots of murder. Not lots and lots. I mean, I, yeah, well, in bite-sized yeah. chunks. <laughs> go, go, go! Watch the anime. Go listen to the podcast, and then email us cutscene at ibeatafirst dot com. Tell us what you think. Maybe we'll 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 agree, disagree, talk about it. We'll either way, we'll talk about it on the podcast for sure. I imagine. Um. Also, of course, look at all of our socials and all that BS like that. Anything and everything you can possibly find at I Beat It First. That's where we are. Like I said before, we do uh, uh stream all of our podcasts anymore at Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash I Beat It First. Uh, you can watch us live on usually on Mondays when we do all of our podcasts every week. And then also, you of course can just listen to us wherever you find your podcast. Chris also not Chris because he doesn't at all, just like me. But Eric also does a great job of uh, 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 playing actual games on Twitch. You know what it's meant for. 
So that's actually kind of a lot of fun too. And they can see what uh, he's playing along with what we'll Make talk fun about of me. in jazz like that. You make fun of them. That's that's half the fun uh, of any Twitch experience, honestly. Yeah. Um, also, feel free to join our Discord. Just go to discord.ibetafirst.com and you'll get there as well. There's also a Discord link on our website. So we're there mostly, not me so much because I'm lazy and don't want to reset my password. But everyone else is there and we're happy to have fun and talk to you and would love to hear from you as well. But yeah, I think that's it. So next week we'll be wrapping up Bofuri and then it'll be chris's turn to pick one yeah because right? this was yours right yeah i think this was mine yeah because i was like yeah chris, let's do something chris's yeah. turn yeah chris so yep. make sure you get them cogs turning of what it is that you want to mm-hmm. watch scratch that oboe get that itch let's do it you ready for that all right maybe okay thanks a lot everybody for joining us uh We'll see you guys later this week for streaming and whatnot, but we can't end any podcast without Chris saying bye bye Hey! You did it. Yay! <laughs> you did it. Recording stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining us on Twitch. Uh, we're just going to end but uh we hope you guys all have a fantastic monday evening whatever the rest of your monday is i mean it's i guess it's tuesday for some people because we're on we're in pacific so you know we kind of just go off of that but thanks a lot everybody and i'll see you guys later this week for it's probably gonna be baldur's gate 3 let's be honest bye (laughs) 